A year ago, a News 13 special assignment revealed the public education department's questionable record keeping of teachers and coaches accused of behaving badly. Since our report, the number of educators who got into trouble and lost their license to teach in the state has surged. News 13's Lizay Mitri explains. Former Farmington teacher Anna Schroth isn't allowed to teach at any New Mexico public schools now after several run ins with police in 2016. Well, we got to get you in this car, okay? <laughs> Do not take me to jail. They put her in cuffs after they say she hit her ex husband with a metal baseball bat. Before that, she landed in jail on charges that she was helping her boyfriend pimp out a prostitute and dealing drugs. Police say a phone search showed she was even texting about drugs while she was at school. Schroff got five years of probation. After pleading guilty to charges including aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, promoting prostitution, and conspiracy to traffic drugs. The New Mexico Public Education Department says it took away her license to teach in the state last year. In fact, 2018 saw a surge in teachers and coaches who got in trouble and got their educators' licenses revoked. When a News 13 investigation first began digging into this issue a year ago, we found the Education Department revoked just five licenses in 2016 and 2017 combined. We followed up since then to learn that number jumped to 29 last year, according to records the department gave us. I think it's actually a good sign. We have a different way of collecting information now, so uh, the collection of data has greatly improved. New Education Deputy Secretary Gwen Perea Warneman talked to us about the changes that started under former Secretary Christopher Ruskowski with the last administration. Yes, definitely. There was a shift. Um, so we're using kind of just general ab ability to create spreadsheets and look at things across the board and kind of have um, a a running list of where all case file management is going. That apparently wasn't happening before when News 13 started requesting public records on the investigations into teachers, coaches, and administrators at the end of 2017 and found many of the case files the education department provided were incomplete. In more than two dozen of them, the previous administration couldn't or wouldn't tell us if the investigations were closed, why they were closed, or where the public records were to document it. Perea Warnament couldn't speak to what sparked the record keeping changes in 2018. Cases last year that ended with licenses getting revoked include a Cibola High coach accused of fighting with a student and a teacher suspected of cheating on a test at the CNM Workforce Training Center when she was caught trying to hide notes she'd written on her wrist. Most, though, involved teachers and coaches accused of crimes, like former Las Cruces middle school teacher Michelle Ramsey, who pled guilty to embezzlement and agreed to pay back more than $20,000 that investigators say she took while acting as treasurer of the Mayfield High School Band Parents Association. Ten license revocations in 2018 stem from disturbing allegations of sex crimes. The list includes former assistant track coach with Clovis Christian Schools, Garrett Scott Fly. <laughs> Court records show he's on probation after pleading no contest to sending nude photos to a 14-year-old student. Then there's former fourth grade Matheson Park Elementary School teacher in Albuquerque, Scott Weaver, indicted for inappropriately touching a 16-year-old in a Belen gym locker room. The gym owner told us last year she confronted Weaver. I went back there. I told him that he needed to stay there. And <laughs> Education Department records show Weaver is among more than two dozen others who won't be teaching at New Mexico public schools anymore. On special assignment, Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. The new administration says it is looking into upgrading the technology it uses to keep track of licensure investigations. They say they also want to make it easier for parents and community members to file complaints when they have concerns about educators.